Welcome back to Drunk on Riding. This is Warren Pawlowski, and I'm here to tell you that you need to watch Peacemaker. Now streaming exclusively on HBO Max, Peacemaker is an eight-episode continuation of 2021's The Suicide Squad, the incredibly better sequel to 2016's Suicide Squad. No, no, the the Suicide Squad. How very original. But no offense, because like the Suicide Squad, Peacemaker's written and mostly directed by James Gunn. I'm honestly really glad that Marvel fired him for that hot second, because I gotta tell you, I needed this series, which stars a jacked out John Cena in the titular role, Peacemaker, a wise cracking over the top stone cold murderer who wants peace at any cost, no, no matter how many men, women, or children he needs to kill to get his way. Oh, and he has a pet eagle named Eagly. I mean, if you're a denizen of the internet and you haven't seen Peacemaker's musical intro, said to wait, wait, I'm just gonna, do you want to taste that? I mean, I don't know what you're doing watching this if you haven't seen that. Go watch that. But if you have seen it, I mean, Eagly is the best. He's, he's hugging me. I mean, the whole thing is just catchy ridiculous, and I can completely understand why people keep recreating those horrible dance moves. But the intro also had this interesting effect on me, where I felt like some characters featured in it would have a far more prominent role on the show, or at least be more important to the overall plot. There's some I figured, I was like, oh yeah, that's obviously going to be an important person, and then there's other ones who I'm like... There's no way. I mean, honestly, who could have known that the bad robot from Terminator 2, aka the shitty agent from the X-Files, Robert Patrick, would have been so important with that dance move? That intro music is just an aperitif of the show's incredibly original hair band metal soundtrack, which includes a cover of Foster the People's Pumped Up Kicks. Did you think there would be a way to make that song more messed up? I certainly didn't. But no, again, no spoilers here, because I really don't think that I need them to sell you on this show. Although, frankly, I, I will admit that it is not a show for everyone. It's very much a show for me, which is why I'm here telling you that you need to watch it. Because if you're, if you're watching this, you're watching me, you watch Drunk on Riding, perhaps you share a like mind here. It is, well, it's hyper-violent, it's hyper-sexualized, and it's... It's absolutely raunchy as all hell. Something I'd say is is easily the most prominent in the in the Deadpool light hair. No, no, no. He is Steve Buscemi from Con Air. Yeah, that is him if he could talk like Deadpool. Actually, you know, he's vigilante, played by Freddie Stroma, complete sociopath, not Freddie Stroma, vigilante. Again, right, no spoilers. It's awesome. It's it's just, it's it's great and I adore him to no end. As well as Danielle Brooks Adebayo and Jennifer Holland's Harcourt and even Steve Agee's Economist, who I kept thinking was an economist. And I was like, why are they calling him that? It's just a weird thing to call him. He doesn't seem like an economist. Even Nut Lee's Judo Master is awesome. He made me want some hot Cheetos. But all those characters are amazing, not because of the, the violence and buffoonery of the show, but because this show is also shockingly deep and poignant and i mean dark i'm talking you know thematically i mean peacemaker might as well have a spotlight strapped to his forehead it's definitely not a dark visually dark show but thematically i don't think i've ever seen a darker show in terms of superheroes i mean with james gunn in at the helm you should really expect nothing less i mean you should expect dark and emotional and character driven stories that are completely heartfelt, and I think if you like his previous work, you're gonna love this. He has a certain way of ensuring no one seems superfluous, that every line of dialogue serves a purpose. Everything leads to something else. Everything has a payoff. All killer, no filler. If in the first act you have a piano, in the very following one, it should be played, and it is played, and it is an amazing moment.
but it's worth every second of your time. And guess what? I'm not the only one who thinks so. Peacemaker season finale broke the record for the highest single day viewership of an HBO Max original episode. I mean, it's good. So good, a second season was ordered in February 2022 with Gunn set to write and direct all episode. And if you have seen the show, it's almost surprising. This has been Drunk on Writing, and I mean, what else do you need to know? Go watch Peacemaker.